z1 is 3 minus 4i, z2 is 1 plus 2i. Let's plot those. So the real part of z1 is 3, the imaginary part is minus 4. The real part of z2 is 1, the imaginary part is plus 2. So this point is the complex number 1 plus 2i. Let's look at the modulus of z1. That's just the distance of z1 to the origin. So I'll just draw that line representing the distance of the complex number z1 to the origin. So this, the length of this line is mod z1 or the modulus of z1. And here is um, the modulus of z2. You can see from the diagram that the modulus of z1 is greater than the modulus of z2. That's pretty clear. Now let's calculate mod z1 and mod z2. Well, to get this distance we just use Pythagoras. We can complete a right angle triangle here. So this side of the right angle triangle has a length of 4 and this side has a length of 3. So we can see that mod z1 is just root 3 squared plus 4 squared. Okay, that's just Pythagoras' theorem applied to this right angle triangle. Okay, we get the sum of the squares of the two short sides and take the square root. So this gives us root 25, which is 5. But that's what we just did actually was um, square the real part of z1, got 3 squared, and we squared the imaginary part. So if we square minus 4, well that's just the same as plus 4 squared, which is 16. So in general, the modulus of any complex number, x plus yi, is got by squaring the real and imaginary parts, summing them and taking the square root. Now let's get the mod of z2. Well, this distance here is 1, and the distance from here to here is got by looking at the imaginary part, which is 2. So we have the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared. So we're just squaring the real and imaginary parts and taking summing and taking the square root. So this is going to give us root 5. Now we can clearly see that mod z1, which is 5, is greater than mod z2, which is the square root of 5. Next we are going to get z1 over z2 in the form x plus yi. So basically this question is asking us to write these two complex numbers as a single complex number. So z1 is 3 plus, um, I'm sorry, it's 3 minus 4i. z2 is 1 plus 2i. So you see we have two complex numbers here, one complex number over another complex number, and we want to write these two complex numbers as a single complex number. So that's what the question is asking really when it says write these two complex numbers in the form x plus yi. x plus yi is a single complex number. And we've seen how to do that. What we need to do is multiply above and below by the conjugate of the denominator. So the denominator is 1 plus 2i. The conjugate is 1 minus 2i. So if we multiply below by that we must multiply above by that to keep this the same. So we multiply 3 by 1 minus 2i to get 3 minus 6i. Then we multiply minus 4i by 1 minus 2i to get minus 4i. And next we have minus 4i by minus 2i, that's plus 8i squared. i squared of course is minus 1. Uh, so we write 8i squared, well 8i squared is just 8 times minus 1, which is minus 8. Into the, the denominator, we multiply 1 by 1 minus 2i to get 1 minus 2i. Next, we multiply plus 2i by 1. And plus 2i by minus 2i is minus 4i squared. 
I squared is minus 1, so we have minus 4 by minus 1, which gives us plus 4. Okay, let's simplify the numerator. Plus 3 minus 8 is minus 5. Minus 6i minus 4i is minus 10i. These terms cancel out, so we get 5 in the denominator. So that's always happens. If we multiply a complex number by its conjugate, we always get a real number. Okay, we get uh, the, the imaginary part is 0. Uh, so that's the reason why we multiply above and below by the conjugate of the denominator. We want a real number here, because if we get a real number, we can write this as a single complex number. We have minus 5 over 5, which is minus 1. Minus 10i over 5 is minus 2i. So you see we have written these two complex numbers as a single complex number. You know, if we want to write down what x is, well, we can see that x is minus 1. That's the real part. Uh, y is the imaginary part. The coefficient of i, y is minus 2. We don't have to write down x and y. This is our answer.